Fit girl fall. Fit girl fall. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome. My name is Jess. I'm so glad you guys are joining me today. Today, we got a little vloggy vlog for you. It is fall season. We all know how everybody goes crazy for fall. So we're just gonna jump on the train and talk about being fit for the fall because it rhymes. Right now, I'm in a busy season of my life. That's why my last vlogs have talked a lot about the busy season of life, things that are important to me and things that have changed. So I'm gonna take you guys along with my day, show you guys some of the things I'm eating this fall, show you guys how I'm training because it has changed a lot with my schedule, but I also want to be fit this fall. So give you guys some tips on things that you guys can stick to and maintain even when your schedule gets a little bit crazy or maybe this fall time's just a lot for you as we approach the holidays. So give you guys my best tips and show you guys what I'm doing to still set myself up for success even though life looks a little bit different. Right now I'm actually about to go ahead to do a workout. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing because I'm in a season where I'm doing a ton of full body workouts. This was never my style, to be honest. I was all about a workout split. Um, I loved having back and bys day, a chest and tries day, a leg day, another leg day, one's glute focus, one's quad focus. That is my style. And you guys probably have picked up on that from previous vlogs or if you guys haven't already, follow me on Instagram because I do post a lot more on Instagram frequently so you guys can see that there. But lately, with the limited amount of time I have, I just get in these full body workouts and I've actually been loving it. And something I've noticed with this is that I haven't lost any strength, which is awesome. It makes me feel so good. In combination with my full body workouts, I'm also eating more calories. So we're eating a little bit more. I'm working my way up to a full, like clean bulk. Um, I feel like I'm about maintenance right now and I've usually eaten a deficit. So this is the first time that I'm really prioritizing eating a little bit more in a surplus so that way I can feel my body and then go back into a deficit and really see the results happen. So because I'm gone all day, I am gone until about 5 p.m. I have to bring a lot of food with me because I don't eat breakfast. However, if I wait till that time to eat all the calories I'm eating, I would feel so sick. So I bring a ton of food with me. So literally when I get home, all I have left is like a solid dinner and some dessert. Y'all know I pack food if you guys didn't see my last vlogs. Food on the go is the way to go, but it's also full time. So I decided to do a little bit of baking this morning. Don't worry, they've already cooled down. I'm not crazy, but I just baked a few little muffins. I'm gonna give them a shot first because I kind of just toss things in there. That's sometimes how I cook. If they're good, we're gonna make the recipe together. So this might be a pumpkin muffin recipe. They smelled so good when I pulled them out, so I'm really hopeful. But in addition to that, for a snack later, I have oats and peanut butter. And then for my actual lunch, hold on, I can't get it out. For my actual lunch, this is spaghetti squash and chicken. So it's actually really full recipes here. I feel like squash is a big full time thing. And then last but not least, I have an apple. I always like to bring like a piece of fruit just in case I feel like I'm getting really hungry. Sometimes I feel myself getting tired or my blood sugar just going down. So that's what we're gonna be having later today to eat. But I'm taking a long time. We're gonna head to the gym. We're gonna get in a workout. Like I said, part of my fit girl fall is full body workout. So I'll show you guys my full body lift very, very soon. Let's go get it. Oh, 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 
workout complete. I also trained a client, got changed real quick, and now I'm headed to the hospital. This is what my days look like, and people, this is why I pack so much food. So, like I was telling you guys this morning, basically for me and my fit girl fall, things are looking a little bit different than like a shredded summer. Why I say that is because overall, what I'm super passionate about, and I've talked about this time and time again, is having a, having a healthy and balanced lifestyle that makes you feel your very best. Now, sometimes I do have physique goals, sometimes I do have performance goals. Currently, balancing so much on my plate, my goal is just to feel good, is to be able to work out, eat, sleep, have less stress, all the things that actually go into having a good physical health more so than having shredded abs and why i say that so i'm eating more calories your body needs to go in phases that it comes out of a deficit and i do not do this as often as i probably should so because i'm doing this not that i've gained a ton of weight not that i've lost strength anything like that but i would say i'm a little bit less defined in my core that's okay for me right now. My fit girl fall is not about, like I said, getting shredded quite yet. I'm going to go into a deficit again and try and cut later on. But for now, I'm focused on overall health. It's a stressful time of year. Even if you guys aren't balancing like a bunch of things on your plate, going into the holidays can be really stressful. Hopefully your fit girl fall can be focusing a little bit more on just your overall health. And the way that I do that is going to be by eating a little bit more food, even if that means my core is not as defined and making sure I'm moving my body as much as I can. And for me right now, that means that I'm just busting out some full body workouts and that is a okay. Okay. Before I start driving, I do eat in the car and I showed you guys all the food I'm going to have. So I'm just going to roll with that. But we're going to try one muffin together. I want to save the other ones for like my post lunch dessert. But we're going to try one together because if they're good, like I said, we're going to make them together. Hmm. <laughs> Look at the inside. I really like the flavor. They're not like super sweet, but they've got pumpkin, but it's not too strong. Texture is interesting. I think because there was a lot of pumpkin in it, it's making them a little bit more dough-like than like muffin bread-like. So probably for me to like ultimately make a good muffin-like texture, you can even see because they didn't fluff up. I need more flour in them, but I kind of like doughy things, so for me, I like this. Now, I would say if I'm sharing this recipe, I might add a little bit more flour so it's not so. I did post another one on my Instagram, like I said, if you guys don't follow me there, I post a lot more recipes, tips, tricks, all the above, so I'll put that up here so you guys can check that recipe out. <gasps> oh, stupid flies. Oh, guys, flies here is a serious problem. I'm gonna turn the car and we're gonna get this thing out of here. The flies are terrible and there's one in the car and that's the worst thing to drive 30 minute drive with the fly in the car get out buddy i don't think i got him i don't know definitely got scared because he's gone anyways i better take off and get on the road and I'll talk to y'all later. I'm back home, I'm changed, and it's time to cook dinner. A few things that we've been doing to kind of stay on track and to remain feeling our best is just cooking all of our meals at home. We've always kind of done this, but it's a priority to also cook our dinners not too late. Now, on days like this where I get up at five and I have a 30 minute drive home, it ends up getting a little bit later than ideally. Like, we honestly would really prefer to cook dinner around five o'clock um, just so I can make all the food, clean up the kitchen, and we can get to bed at a good time. So that's my next two tips for you guys is to get in a routine of cooking and a nighttime routine to be able to set yourself up for success. And for us, that means going to bed early. That doesn't mean you guys have to go to bed early, but because sleep is so important and we like to get up early, that means we do need to go to bed early. So we are gonna cook some dinner. I decided I wanna try cooking gnocchi for the very first time. I love gnocchi, I've had it in restaurants a lot and is really simple ingredients. It really is just potatoes, flour, egg, and that's pretty much it. So hopefully it'll turn out decent, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it my best shot and we're gonna make up some dinner.
a tired hot mess. I just finished the kitchen. I just finished cleaning the kitchen. You probably hear the dishwasher in the background. There was just so many dishes and I hate doing dishes. However, part of my fit girl fault, keeping me sane, taking care of my mental health, and that means making sure I'm not stressed out. And for me, that is with organization, that is with keeping up with the house. Doesn't mean everything's perfect by any means. We have two dogs who love to shed all over the house and I cannot vacuum every day, but I make sure to do the dishes every night. I also put away the dishes every morning. Why that's something that's so important to me in my routine is because I cook a lot and when I don't have the resources ready for me, that makes it a lot harder to go cook. So I make sure to set myself up for success by making sure I do all the dishes the night before because they're dishes I use every single day and then put them all away in the morning when I get up. But that being said, I wanted to give you a few more tips before I go shower up and get to bed. It's 8.30, I go to bed at like nine, so we're cutting close people. But anyways, Fit Girl Fall, I'm making sure I'm taking care of myself as a whole, making sure I'm feeling my healthiest. Like I said, a lot of that has to do with stress. As we're going to this season, holiday season, where times are a lot more stressful, you have to find things that help you de-stress. And I know you guys are probably thinking like, stress is just a part of life. You're not wrong. Everybody's gonna be stressed and that's gonna be a part of our life. However, you can find things to help keep you a little bit less. And for me, like I said, that's doing the dishes. That's doing things like meal prepping. If you guys didn't see my other vlog about meals on the go, that is crucial. So I also just finished completely packing both of our lunch pails, putting them in the fridge. So literally all I have to do in the morning is grab them. For me, it's worth doing some of that stuff in the evening so I don't have to think about it in the morning. When I cooked dinner tonight, I cooked a little bit of extra chicken. You guys saw me do that. I also threw some rice in. You guys didn't see that, but I threw some rice in our little Instapot and put that together for our lunches tomorrow. So super easy. Doesn't take me more time because I do it while I'm cooking dinner, but then it sets me up for success come the next day because we have meal prep lunches. They're in the fridge. We literally can grab them and go first thing in the morning. So. That is a few things that I'm doing this fall. Like I said, my training has really changed. If you guys have any questions about my training, if you guys wanna see progress or like how things go with me doing a lot more full body workouts, with me eating more calories, all of those things. If you guys have questions about bulk, if you have questions about limited time workouts, reach out to me or comment below so I can make some more vlogs on that as well. But that is currently what my Fit Girl Fall is looking like. It's gonna look different for everybody. For me, it is not a time I'm gonna be shredded. I'm just looking to feel my very best and have a good quality of life, balancing all the responsibilities I have, but also the things that make me feel good. Okay. One of those things is going to bed early, so it is my bedtime. I'm gonna go get ready for bed. Thank you for joining me today. If you guys haven't already, don't forget, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because it does support me a ton and I appreciate it. it allows me to keep making these videos and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye.